Well, no, I just, it, you know, it's, it's, it's really always interesting how a, an artist paint company begins. Name R and F um, came from the fact that when I first started the company in, in uh, uh, 1988, and I was there all alone in a, in this little basement uh, uh, studio. I found that that the last thing I wanted anybody to know was that I was only one person. So I came up with the uh, with the thought of uh, calling the company RNF using my initials, but uh, making it at least sound like two people instead of one. When I first started the business, I, of course, <laughs> wasn't able to make a living off of it. Uh, I was working as a framer and using most of my uh, money to buy raw materials. I would contact uh, pigment companies for samples of their pigments and say, look, I'm just starting out. Could you send me double your usual sample size and uh, so they would and I and I was able to have enough to make uh, my initial batches of paint. Slowly I would made enough money so that I could then buy larger quantities of materials but initially it was really tough going and it came right out of uh, out of wages I was making doing something else entirely. I was a painter who uh, oh, had always been, had a great interest in materials. When the gallery I was with uh, saw the way I was working, they suggested that I try encaustic uh, paint. And it just so happened that there was, that the store that I shopped at, a very little store in Manhattan uh, named Torch Art Supplies, carried encaustic and what I didn't realize at the time was that they were the only ones in the world who carried it. They started uh, uh, having it made for them in the 19, uh, late 1940s. I was their encaustic expert on the basis of the fact that uh, uh, on, a, on a scale of one to ten I knew one and everybody else there knew zero. The first job I had when I started working there uh, was to bag down pigment that they had just gotten in. Nobody, nobody wanted to do that job and I was the new kid on the block and they sent me down into the basement with a respirator and an apron and, and I had to bag down all these pigments and uh, man, I was a pig in shit. I was in my element. This was really great. Uh, I was... I, w I was connecting with all these different colors on their most elemental level. And it was trial and error, um, and, but the amount of knowledge started climbing from one to one and a half to two to three. And, um, and by 1987, the store closed and I was not sure at first what I wanted to do, but, but, uh, but I did start um, approaching other stores. Around the time that I was at uh, a Torch, um, I had the very uh, fortuitous experience of uh, meeting Carl Plansky, who also started working there back in the, uh, around 1984 or five. Um, Carl was a, was a wonderful painter imbued with, with, with uh, the romance of materials as, as much as I was and he, he said you know you really know enough about wax that I think you would really make a great oil stick and it was he and if I remember rightly I think it was he who came up with the with the name pigment sticks um, I wanted it to be so much more like paint than like a than like a crayon I wanted it to feel like like thick paint uh, in your hand that you were just holding and, and just applying directly without, without a brush. And that's what, to me, was uh, what I thought an, an oil stick should be. It wasn't, to me, just 
what would sell best. Uh, I was starting from an artist's point of view. I wanted to make something that was really uh, a good product and one that felt like it was something that, that both the artists I sold to and I both felt were, were, was, was um, unusual and, um, and, and different simply because of its character and quality. Suddenly I realized that this was what making paint really was. I keep going round and round telling the same f jokes. Oh well. I know.